Okay, so here we are on August 27th with my futures strategy. So you can see how my futures set up. This is my monitor. I got these three charts, and that's pretty much all I use for my futures trading. So right now, um, there's no uh, trade in these two. This is my sniper. This is my red light, green light, and this is my red dot. So here we are. We do have a trade setting up. So I'm going to go ahead and maximize this. Active trader. All right, so we're getting ready to enter long in this because we have our black line here, and then we have our green with no red dots. So this is going to close in one minute, and when it does, we're going to buy this to the long side. And then we're going to mark it up. So we got about 20 seconds, and then uh, from there we'll put all of our stops in and and uh, good to go. So so far I have not had a loser on this uh, strategy in. 180 trading days so almost a year I've not had a loser so we'll see if this becomes a loser and bye all right cool so hopefully we're in quickly come on think or swim I hit the button all right cool we're in all right good deal so I'm gonna go ahead and mark this up first I'm gonna put where I got in 3484 34, 84, 75. We'll start with 78. Right click, edit properties, 75. Okay, so now we got that. And then we're going to mark up our chart so we know where, based on the algorithm, this algorithm is telling me with these lines here where to measure from so I can get all my targets and um, exit prices. So we're going to start here. It's only going to be a small winner, it looks like. I'll fix that in a second and make it straight. Come over here, left click, get a square, straighten it out. All right, and then I like to put my prices on here. So when I take a picture of this later, I can see what's up. All right, cool. So now I got my chart marked up. So I know exactly where um, all the projected movement is going to be. So I'm going to come over here to my order single OCO and I'm going to put my target and my stop in my initial stop and then I'll move that stop as the trade progresses based on the, the rules. Alright so we'll start with that. So we're going to be selling it to get out 3470 Oh, that is not what we want to stop. Okay, cool. Good deal. Let's fix that. I have no idea what just happened there. I'm going to move this diagonal on. Okay, cool. OCO. Oh, I went to negative. I think. Usually 50 is enough to cover this. All right, let's try again. So I'm gonna sell it. I'll hit my. I'll, I'll move it up to the price target. Three four nine four. Three four nine four. All right, there we go. Okay, cool. So we got our price target here, and this is on the 30 minutes candles. We do this in the 30 minute candles. So now that this has actually made it 90% of the way, I'm going to go ahead and take a little profit to about 25%. And then if it pulls back, it pulls back. Either way, green trade. And you can look back at a, at a chart too. Like when you see this, you're like, oh no, it's pulling back down. But if you look back, I mean, look look at all these wicks, shadows, tails, whatever you want to call it. You know, it, it, let me look at this one. It opened here went all the way down before this big rally so a lot of times this will retrace part of the candle before it if not all of the candle before it so there's a good chance this will retrace half this candle and go back up or maybe it just boosts and goes straight up but when you look at the history of all these candles you know it likes to retrace part of the candle before it you know if I waited for this to retrace 
all or most of the candle before it, I would have missed out on this trade here, right? Because it didn't didn't retrace that much on this trade. You know, um, yeah, that opened right there and did that. But on these other ones, this green one, it retraced some of that one, retraced a big part of that one, retraced the whole, almost the whole thing here, the body anyway. So I don't wait for it to retrace, but I, I do expect it. All right, so here we go. So now we're touching our target. So winning trade, we could be out right now. So my greed didn't let me get out, right? I'm staying in. I'm waiting for this to break above it so I can move my stop. Greed's getting me. So we'll see. That was a winning trade. Boom, right there. I should have been out, all out. Good to go. But I didn't. So now we'll see if I take a smaller win because of it. All right, cool. So now we're pu pushing through. Pushing through, come on, give me a little push through there. And we're going to move our stop to 93, 90, 3493. Three. So I'll Three, four, nine, four. We need to get above that so I can move my stop to there. It's starting to prove to be a little bit of resistance. We'll see if it breaks through there. The reason why I'm being greedy on this trade is because I believe it's going to test at least this ceiling right here. And if it breaks that ceiling, it could really run. So it's worth it for me to take a little extra risk on this one of not getting a full profit um, for that potential. But clearly a winning trade. And this, uh, this strategy with the red dot in my futures, with the red dot algorithm set up for futures trading has been absolutely awesome. Like literally almost a year, I've not had any losing trades on it. So it's pretty epic. Um, hopefully we can capitalize on this one and make a really nice win out of it. But we'll see what's happening here. Looking at the uh, level two, if you will, over here. Come on, get above 9.4 right there. Just go right to like 9.5. Once it gets just above 9.4, I'll move my stop to 9.4 and we'll be good to go. I'll leave it here though at halfway. If I get stopped out here, I get stopped out here. But Because if uh, if it's going to reject back down to this level at this point, then this it might be over. Or at least over for a while. I'll just be out of the trade. But clearly a winning trade for any students who were not greedy and uh, took their profit off right there. Good on you. And uh, we'll see if my greed is going to pay off a little bit today. Shouldn't. I should get punished for being greedy, right? Because you don't want to be greedy in the market. But not really being greedy. Just looking at the technicals, actually, in all seriousness. And all kidding aside, looking at the technicals, and there's a very high probability that this will at least test the top of this here. And uh, potentially, if it breaks out, it could go pretty fast. So um, the, re the reward versus risk is worth it to me when I weigh it out. So algorithm, winner. Now I'm adding some technical play here. And watch, because I'm deviating from algorithm and now entering into technicals, I'll probably end up with a smaller winner. That's, that's how it goes. Algorithm is smarter than I am. All right, we got seven minutes, seven minutes. So if we can hold on for another two right here, then there's a good chance this red candle will close up in this area here if it's going to be red. But we got to hold on for this next two minutes. All right, we're out. So we're out of that trade. So yeah, so I got greedy. I didn't take my uh, profits at the target, which was right here. I was looking for a potential breakout. Rather, you know, even a, a solid double top here before it broke down, and it may even go there. But um, I'm out, um, so at least I'm out with a green trade. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't at the target, so that's how it goes. Um, when you get greedy, you get punished, which is a good thing because then it kind of corrects your behavior. But that also is like, man, the algorithm said get out. This is a target, and then I try to be smarter than the algorithm and, and look at a technical piece. Um, thought it would have a little more pull. Um, but I should have also looked at the, the resistance area that it kept on banging against, you know, and that should have been a sign. So is what it is, um, but it's green trade, and we've had so many green trades. This red dot strategy for my futures 
trading has been absolutely awesome. Um, I do regret not taking my profit now. And had I got out profit and it broke out, I would have regretted getting out, right? That's just it's trading. You can't win either way. So I should have just took my profit there. But anyway, everybody, we'll uh, be back tomorrow, hopefully with another futures trade.